The mushroom in these photos is commonly called the lion's mane. Its scientific name is Heresium erinaceus. In China, this mushroom is commonly called the monkey head mushroom. Hmm, lion's head versus monkey's head, which one is better? When cut open, the flesh of the mushroom is totally white. This mushroom is an excellent choice edible mushroom and is highly treated in China because of its potential medicinal properties. On the east coast of the United States, it usually grows in autumn and sometimes late autumn or early winter. It also drops white spore print. In general, you can find this mushroom on fresh wound of dead hardwood trees, especially on oak trees, as demonstrated in this video. Lion's mane belongs to tooth fungus due to the presence of the needle-like, also called spine, structure. It is a saprobic or parasitic fungus, so please do not feel shame to harvest and eat it. Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a casual and a quick talk. I just uh, found the lion's mane you see like previous in the video and um, look at this, it's so pretty. Here. This is a this is a mushroom and uh, it's one of the most delicious edible mushroom you can find in uh, autumn and uh, late autumn. I'm gonna bring it back and uh, cook with some scrambled egg. In China, we call this mushroom monkey head, but in America, the uh, common name is uh, lion's mane. And I also wanna collect some spore print of this mushroom. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be successful, but I would definitely have a try. If you come out to the forest, if you see this mushroom, you definitely wanna pick it because there's no other mushroom look like this and it's definitely a choice edible. And the mushroom smells awesome. It smells a little bit fragrant, a little bit grassy, a little bit woody, um, very nice. However, my mushroom friend in the Britain told me this mushroom is protected in the United Kingdom owing to the scarcity of this fungus. In recent years, this mushroom is cultivated in the United States and sold as a gourmet mushroom in vegetable markets. You can find this mushroom across the globe in the northern hemisphere. I feel quite lucky to find this mushroom and honestly speaking, this is my first time finding this mushroom in the wild. Previously, I either saw the fresh specimen in a mushroom fair or dried specimen in Chinese or Asian supermarket. It looks really attractive, isn't it? I cleaned and sliced the whole mushroom I collected. I made an omelet with the mushroom and it tastes super yummy. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. Your support will help to spread the knowledge of mushrooms and maybe to inspire people to build a better world. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.